Welcome to the BFME1 online battle arena on the patch 2.22 for a 2v2 matchup on the map Emin Arnen. And the matchup is going to be Gondor Isengard versus Rohan and Mordor. All four factions are in there, boys. But I'm not very experienced on this map, so maybe we can pull this off. Okay, so of course, draft always. <laughs> Never choose anything else but draft. Okay. No problemo. I think this map is kind of, in, in, you know, evolving around the middle, around the center of the map. There are plenty of creeps at the beginning of the game. I'm assuming it's gonna be a fight for the creeps. And not many settlements though. So our eco is not gonna be that great. I can't come Discord, my friend. I'm recording. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's recruit more and more peasants. Capture this one. And we can try to check what the opponent is doing. Oh, he's trying to creep this. It would be so amazing if we can steal the creep there, actually. Can we steal it? Come on. Do it. Do it for me. Oh, so close. But the money, but the money, but the money. I got the money, boys. Okay. I'm cash floating, actually. Hold on a second. Be careful. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, go for this debuff. A bit too late, but it's okay. I mean, so far, as long as I can make him follow my peasants, which means my allies' eco is going to be pretty much untouched, and that's going to be always great. You know, if you can give your Mordor ally a lot of time, it's going to be easy game later on. You know, mid to late game, going to be quite easy. Mary! Okay, so we can creep this one maybe with the Hobbit. Uh, never mind, there are still Uruks around. And, you know, we have a couple of options. From this point on, I think we had a good start into the game. And we can, we can of course, go for more Rohirrim warriors, try to get the shields, and try to rush the enemy castle. That's a possibility, but what we can also do is go for heroes like Legolas and stuff. Or make combos. Whenever you have a Mordor ally, it will mean that you have lots of leadership potential later on. You have Drummer Troll, Eye of Sauron, and of course the Witch King. And all of this trio, without even darkness included, will give you over 150% more damage. And remember, you are playing Rohan, which means you have also a Theorin, you know? That can actually be crazy amount of leadership. And combos are overall better in those all-out fights than Knights or Rohirrim. But they are more fun because they are more... You know, they are faster. I'm going, I'm going there, my friend, don't worry. Page for me, Shine! Got it, boy. Okay, level two. Each level matters so much, you know. It's so important. I'm gonna try to kill this Hobbit. Um, You know, you wanna always kill the Hobbit first because he's the one who's dealing the most damage to your Rohirrim. So always right click on him. No, you are dead, Hobbit. You are dead, son. I mean, I know this soldier has been... was able to survive, but it's okay. I don't care about the soldier. Let him go back to his family, you know what I'm saying? Let him go back to his family. Ah. 
Ooh, okay, we need to abort the mission. Use the war chant. Be careful. Oh, my hobbit moved there. Ah, man, that's annoying. Rest in peace, Merry Rock Brandywalk. It was a pleasure to work with you, my friend. We have heal from the spell book if you need it. But I would like to go for um, the Alvin summon, even though I don't think we can manage to do, manage to do that. Because we still need around about two more power points in total. This Uruk so tanky with the war chant. So tanky. My ally is creeping. My ally is actually popping off. I mean, the mission is always to keep your opponents kind of busy and poor. Poor is very important. You don't want Aizen to get strong. I think in the in the mid game that matchup is going to favor us because Rohan Mordor will reach the power spike a bit faster than Gondorizen. Gondorizen will actually need Gandalf and of course also the Freezing Rain. Otherwise, Mordor will have too much leadership with the Drummer Troll and Witch King. These trolls will hit extremely hard. Is Russian Gandhi? I don't think so, man. I don't think he's rich though. But maybe you're right. So even if it does that, we can still ignore this and go for the for the beast right now with the Rohirrim warriors. I mean, I would, I have heal, yeah. I would uh, like to, I would like to have the forge bleed, but you know, it's okay. So three Rohirrim warriors, one of them has been sent to healing, so we have four in total, three of them will be used for rushing. Not sure though, if I can deal the damage I'm looking for. I'm going crazy boys! Okay, they are using the war chant defensively. That's okay. Again, all I'm doing is literally buying time for my ally, you know? And we are able to deal some economical damage to our opponent too. The Svarnaces will not hit level 3 anytime soon. But he has too many Knights of Condor defending. I don't want to lose my Rohirrim though. Oh, I need to heal. And back off a little bit. And destroy the Eagle over and over again. And remember, he needs to make pikemen because of our Rohirrim. And that means... That he will be more poor. Okay, we need Forge Bleeds. We need Heavy Armor. We need uh, Banner too. He went also for the Heavy Armor, by the way. That is not gonna be a Gandhi anytime soon. Yeah, true. He's poor. Uh, I think being poor on this map is kind of common. Uh, it's not like a economical map, to be honest with you. Because I also feel kind of poor in this situation. I want to creep this, if I can. Move a little bit more, and we should be fine. We should be able to fight this. Now we can. We can. Heavy armor is a bit better than. Please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Run. I don't want to talk about it. Oh man, this troll is a mean one, boy. Oh, okay. I'm coming there. Don't worry about it. We have shields, so we should be kind of. But I don't have heavy armor, you know, that's the problem. I don't have heavy armor and I don't have heal from the spellbook either. So, my ally has drummer troll though. He should be good, I'm assuming. I mean, the key here is to protect the troll cage, right? That's the most important and valuable structure 
inside the base of Mordor. Ooh, we need to bail. They are taking a lot of damage. The reinforcement is coming though. Maybe we can pull something off here. We can fight this. But it looks like he's still war chanted. If I I can't oh my god the damage though from the knights. Oh boy. I mean I think we kinda helped our ally because the Ranger Company, the Great Company, is busy. And now without the archers, uh, the knights can't deal with the trolls. You know, I still can't believe that we lost one of the... <laughs> that we rushed the beast and everything. We didn't lose a horse, but we lost the horse randomly to a troll care. Troll yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay, so now what we can do is go for the fire row, right? We can go for the fire row, make even some combos. Uh, the peasant yeoman combination is pretty cost efficient. They are very cheap, affordable, but also pretty durable, quite tanky, you know? Remember, with the amount of leadership we can have, they will also hit very hard. Like, Gondorizing combination from the enemy team is also pretty strong, but there is one thing they lack of, and that's leadership you know it's very hard for them to get leadership they need uh, saruman they need lord level 5 they need boromir they need uh, you know that this and that but the early leadership they like only from the war chant which is not enough to deal with the theodine leadership drummer troll leadership in the uh, leadership we should be able to win every single skirmish until uh, boromir or potentially lords will hit level 5 or saruman will be recruited or both or freezing green but all of these ors you see, we are winning the fight. When you have the full upgrades, like including shields, you are stronger than somebody who has only heavy armor in Forge Fleets, you know? Okay, so we are in a strong position in this game. Making some combos. Feeling a bit poor, but it should be good very, very soon. He's going for the Witch King. Okay, beautiful. I mean, these are the Pikeman crossbowman combo. Can't really charge into that. Okay, I mean, again, we are able to win this fight because of the shields, which he doesn't have, you know. I'm assuming my opponent is going for them, for the Gandalf, which kind of makes a lot of sense when you think about this, because if horse is all alone, he can't really achieve too much. While fighting against pikemen is kind of difficult, fighting against trolls is um, impossible. You know, you can't win with a horse against troll, and troll is also running faster than pikemen. I can do this, but I don't think it's needed, though. Ooh, there is a Gandalf. Okay, that we need to be careful about this one. And he's a threat. Combine. Peasants and yeomen. I think I need to build a post on Git. So they don't need to... They, they can kind of hide a little bit. I don't want them to be exposed. Because one trample from the knights and they will be gone. If no leadership beside Theorin. And also the upgrades on them yet. I'm struggling money wise a little bit. Okay, so I think we need to fight around the middle camp before Gondor buys it. I've land. 
And I believe also they have land. My ally is going ham though. Um, okay, I, I think I can trample into this with this much leadership. Just run, don't run into the pikemen. Okay, nice. We killed all the crossbowmen from the combo. That's pretty good. Need to avoid this Ganoff, Ganoff Blast, but he's going for the Lightning Sword. That's a mistake, sir. Cross will turn on him, and he needs to cancel it. And also Lourdes will die there. Boom! Lourdes is no more. And we can use the momentum to go to the base of Aizen. My ally could handle the situation by himself, no problemo. Now let's try to deal damage to the Mord uh, Aizen base. My horses are damaged big time, though. I mean, destroying the Urukbit is always great, because that will kind of cut the production time quite a bit. And he will need to invest more time into re recruiting. Um, oh, but you see, the durability of the base is big time increased when the Furnace hit level 3, you know? Then you have another tower, basically. So without leadership or highly leveled horses, the rush is not going to be that impactful anymore. Oh my god, he caught me there. Oof, we need to turn and fight this. Okay, I'm gonna buy the outpost actually. We can buy the outpost, build a well and a statue, and then we can go to the center whenever we need to, to heal up. We don't need to go back all the way to the base. And also the wells are able to regenerate the witch king or the trolls too, you know? Thank you very much for that. I'm need I need every kind of farms. Is I you know I will take them all. You know that's the thing. That's the beautiful thing. The thing about Mordor, you know, because when Mordor has a couple of trolls, Dramor and Witch King, you don't need that much money anymore. Like that's why you are struggling early game as Mordor, but in your mid to late game you are pretty much very very strong. And your spiking is done when you get like four or five trolls, but he has more than that. Drummer troll, and of course, also the Witch King. Okay, so he will cover the land first. I think it's time for us to go, boys. I think it's time for us to go. Remember, we don't need siege weapons, we have trolls, which are able to break through walls and gates. So I want to make sure that my combos are always with a drummer troll, though. That's very important. So drummer troll and uh, Theorin have to be always close to my combos, so they get more armor and don't, don't die to trample. I don't want to be clumped like this, but use the horses for map control in the meantime. Drummer is a bit far away from me. Ooh, the drummer has to come close, huh? Okay, now we have drummer leadership, though. Again, okay, is going for it. Ooh, we need to press the X button, X button, X button, X button. X, 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 X. You can't blast me, bro. <laughs> the Xing, Xing button. No blast for you, juice. No juicer for you, bro. Uh, who you think you're messing with, bro? You think I'm gonna be lined up like this and let you blast all my army? That was a great move, dude. Darkness too. Look, my units and army are shining bright like a diamond. We are so tanky now. And Isengard army, remember, they got wiped out in the middle of the map. So I think he also lost the Uruk pit. He couldn't reproduce the army fast enough to help his ally. Aizen is covering the land, but I don't need to fight there. I could cover this, but there is no need to do that. And uh, Gondor player will be defeated now. And also the Isengard player will be defeated. GG. Well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.